Yo, Tom Fitzy here with my review and initial reaction to Loki episode six, the final episode of Loki season one. This is going to be spoiler heavy review. We already know it, but season two is confirmed. Wow, what a last episode. Absolutely not what I was expecting. Unfortunately, I went onto Twitter just moments before I started to watch the episode and there was a trending actor's name that second I saw it, I was like, oh, that's the reveal. That's the episode reveal right there. But there was plenty of other stuff. We kind of knew that this person was coming and that person was, of course, Kang. As I mentioned, season two has been confirmed. There was a post credit scene, but it's very brief. It basically just says there's going to be a Loki season two. And I think it gives us a big hint as to what season two is going to be. And I actually really like it because I was really wondering how is Loki going to... Like, what is season two going to be? Is he just going to be like a TVA agent, Doctor Who, traveling the universe kind of thing? But uh, no, it's an ongoing story that will, you know, I'm, I'm assuming this this new villain, this new big bad, Kang, yes, Kang, is uh, going to be multiple phases like Thanos, you know, introduced into in uh, in here. And then I'm sure we're going to see the first variant, maybe, in Quantum Mania. And then uh, I'm sure it will like build up, build up, build up. I'm suspecting maybe the next Avengers film is going to be an Avengers versus Avengers kind of thing. Because we've got so many things going on with Dark Avengers and stuff. Or uh, Thunderbolts and stuff being set up. And then after that we will get kind of Kang coming in. And get some kind of big secret wars, multiverse war, Avengers, uh, blowing Avengers Endgame out of the park. Can't even imagine what it's going to look like kind of thing. And then I imagine Loki series 2 is going to be him kind of then working in the background with the TVA. Kind of repeating his loop of trying to get in there with the TVA. You know, becoming friends with Mobius and stuff. Trying to convince them again that, you know, they're all variants and stuff. So, uh, and then, yeah, he, he, Loki will be, like, kind of an agent working in the background. Maybe he can even, like, give information to some of the other characters as to what is going on. Kind of like the man on the inside kind of a thing. Uh, so, yeah, really interesting. I, I love that end setup. I'm talking so much about the next series and just that one ending, but I just thought that the the ending has so much potential of... Loki's kind of back into square one with he, where he is with, like, Mobius, which is disappointing because they're... Their budding friendship was so good. It was like the main heart and core of the show for me. Uh, and we never got to see Mobius on a jet ski. But hopefully, season two, Mobius on a jet ski. Like I say, if we get that, if we get like something that tops the big endgame battle I want as they're all charging in, Mobius on a jet ski going in. But um, yeah, we get to see that friendship blossom again. It could be a very different Mobius that we get this time. And it's a very different Loki that we get this time. And uh, he also, it's interesting to know that Actually, Mobius didn't recognise Loki at all. So, yeah, very different Mobius that we're going to get next series. One who's not a big Loki fan. Whereas Loki is going to be a Mobius fan, actually. So, it's really twisted. I'm, very, I'm, ex I'm, I'm more excited for the next season than I am this one. Let's talk about episode six. That's why you're here, right? And uh, if you are here and you're enjoying what I'm saying so far and you're excited for Loki season two, uh, hit that like button, please. That'll be really awesome. Um, and subscribe for all time. Um, <clears throat> right, this episode. I was worried about it. I haven't really been a fan of the finals of the last two series on Disney+, Plus, especially not WandaVision 1, because it was a lot of flying around and laser beams and just, like, really wrapped up really quickly. Uh, this one I thought was really good. I was expecting it to be a little bit more action-packed, but uh, it was sitting down, it was talking, and it was a very good origin for Kang. Um, it does make me kind of a little bit go, oh, you really have to watch the TV series now, don't you, with with these Marvel, uh, the new phase, because he basically has explained Kang in this, has explained what is going to happen in the next phase and who he is, where he come from, you know. So I do wonder, are we going to now see his origin or was him just explaining it with like the Play-Doh uh, the, the little clay animation thing. 
He kind of did the ego thing with I'm going to show you like a, a series of stills with 3D. He totally, he, he's seen all the time. He probably saw ego do that and was like, I like that. I'm going to, I'm going to copy that. Make a porcelain, a porcelain version of my life. So, uh, I'm wondering now if we're actually going to get an origin story with that. Or if Loki kind of just fills in that King origin story thing so we can just get into... Here's King the Here's King the Conqueror turning up. Here's uh what is he Ramatut? Here's Ramatut turning up. Here's who knows what other crazy versions of King that we're gonna get. Alligator King, Crocodile King, Crocodile King versus Alligator Loki. Um. So yeah, I I, I that that is a little bit of a a worry. I wouldn't really say a worry, but it it's something that. As we go into this more complicated storyline with the MCU, I, I wonder how that is going to affect things because, you know, you've got to sit and do your homework now <laughs> with with Marvel. Um, I mean, I love it because I, I love this franchise and getting into it. The more, uh, the more, the better for me. But uh, I do wonder how, like, the casuals, the casual people are going, are going to have to deal with it. <laughs> or people who are just joining in. I don't know if you're just joining into Marvel right now. I, I thought Kang was really cool in this. At first, I was like, oh, what is this, like, what is this, like, comedy character, you know, that we're getting? But it makes sense. He he was the man at the end of time. He says he's been there for a long time. You know, I'm pretty sure his social skills have uh, gone down <laughs> in all of that time. And he's lived a lot of life. And it must be pretty confusing in that head. And, uh, yeah, you could tell that he was a man that was just tired. He was at the end. And he was a man that didn't know what was going on. I love that twist at the end where he's so confident. He's like, I know everything. And then all of a sudden he's just like, there's like thunder. And he's just like, oh. And you just see his face change and the atmosphere. Like almost the atmosphere in my room changed as I was watching it. And you're like, it's just like the sound effects and stuff in the show and everything. The ambiance. It, uh, and he's just like, he just drops that thing and, and it falls. And I'm guessing he's like... I didn't predict that that was going to happen. And it, you could just tell that he was just scared. And uh, I, I thought he was a really interesting character. He, another one of those villains where, kind of like Thanos, you're like, I get it. and But it's in like reverse kind of this time. We saw Thanos as like, he's a bad, he's a bad, he's a bad. Then at the end, you're like, I kind of get what you're saying. Uh, but then here, we're seeing that at the beginning. And then we're going to learn about the bad kings. And then we're going to go back to Loki and you're going to be like, Oh wow, you know this guy. This guy made a point, you know, um, and then you you look at Sylvie differently and be like, "Ah, oh, you got it wrong. <laughs> you got it wrong. You messed up, Sylvie." Um, really wondering what's going to happen to Sylvie next because she is there in the middle of time, uh, and I was a little bit like I thought maybe when Loki was going to look at the statue at the end, it was going to be like Sylvie, but no, it's another Kang. And that even that that even opens even more questions. Like, was was there another Kang plotting all of this as well? Like, was this actually Kang's plan that he would then become the one? Like, it's so it's so confused. There's so many theories uh, as to what 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 can be going on with this. I guess we just have to watch the next phases of the MCU to really find out what was going on there. But a part, little part of me is wondering if. Maybe it was all a double bluff and there was like another Kang or that Kang's plan was, I, you know, I, pl I pretended that I had main control over the TVA, but really I didn't. And then we get this version where it's like just the one statue and we're like now he has full control or yeah, now it's an evil Kang who is, doesn't just want to preserve one timeline. He wants to preserve and rule over all of them. Uh, so very interesting uh, I'm guessing the one that we see in the statue, that is Kang the Conqueror. Uh, I can't remember. I don't think he had like the helmet on. I do wonder if we're going to see the one with the helmet. We did kind of see the helmets in the clay, the porcelain ego style animation things. But, uh, you know, there's going to be different versions of Kang popping up. So, uh, yeah, all crazy ones. As I said, Crocodile Kang. Uh, um, so yeah, I thought it was a really good introduction. Like I said, at first I was a little bit like, I don't know about this kind of weird, weird comedy thing he's going for. But then you're like, as you're watching it, you kind of get the sense of 
Yeah, he's like a crazy hermit. <laughs> he's like full golem kind of thing. Like he's been on his own too much, and I get that. And what's kind of cool about this character is we're going to get to see all the different shades of Kang. So you know, you're not just going to have that one character. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's, you're going to get all different versions of it, and the next Kang we're going to see probably won't have those same mannerisms. You know, there might be like a common thread, but uh, it could be something really, really different, and that's really interesting. Um, because you're just seeing him in all different stages of his life and everything. Uh, and then, yeah, I loved the fact that the two Lokis, Loki and Sylvie, got in a fight at the end. I loved the fact that you don't really know which one was right and which one was wrong. You kind of get the sense that the main Loki, the MCU Loki, was the one that was actually in the right. I love that thing where it's like, you don't trust anyone and I can't be trusted. That was really cool. We got the incest kiss, <laughs> kind of incest kiss. And it was like, mm, okay, well, I'm, I'm happy for you, Loki. But yeah, this is like watching Luke and Leia have a snog <laughs> again, isn't it? Um, I love the city though. I love the look of it. I love the, like, the marble things going through it. Uh, Ms. Minutes was so creepy in this episode. It's probably going to be in the thumbnail. Probably made me jump when she just popped up like that. Like, oh, uh, the real, the real scariest villain. Forget a life. Uh, <laughs> that is the real scariest villain right there in the MCU. Uh, the, like the eyes were just like off slightly, and it was just creepy. Um, Renslayer has gone off on the search for free will. I think we know where that's gonna. Uh, she's going to end up as well. So it's set up so much, not just for season two of Loki, but for the entire MCU. I saw people on Twitter saying that Doctor Strange is just sitting there like, better get my cape, <laughs> you know, better get to work. We saw the multiverse opening as well. And uh, the X-Men are getting ready to come over. The Spider-Men, they're probably queuing up that trailer right now. Did you see the Deadpool trailer for a free guy that had Deadpool and Korg. That's like the first bit of like uh, MCU crossover. Uh, so I'm hyped for that. Deadpool is going to be so meta when he comes over. He's going to know everything that's going on. Uh, and I really, I'm really hyped. I really want a Korg and Deadpool to meet up as well. Um, speaking of Korg, heard him in the opening. In the opening, we've got all of, like the voices of like the most random quotes ever in the MCU. I didn't catch them all. I, I catch a few. I heard Hank Pym in there. I heard um, Captain Marvel in there, and then I'm sure there are breakdowns being made right now on YouTube. I'm sure Screen Crush is going to list every single every single line that was uh, mentioned in there, and your mum. So I'm not going to go back and rewatch it. But yeah, I, heard, I definitely heard Korg in there, and I was like, hey, he's like, we're going to get on that spaceship. I was like, oh, cool, cool. Um, yeah, maybe there were some proper secret ones in there. Maybe Deadpool was in there. Who knows? Um, but, uh, yeah, what a good ending. What a good ending because it, it closed off that series quite nicely. It set up things, even though it was predictable, everyone knew it was going to be Kang. But even right to the last minute, until I went on Twitter and got spoiled, I was like, is it Kang or is it another Loki? And yeah, it was Kang. And, uh, but it wasn't necessarily the evil Kang. Which is, I think, the most interesting thing to take away from that. And I think it's really cool that they did the origin and now they can just get into it. And I do quite like how they're planting the seeds across these shows. And um, little things are happening. And at the end, you're going to have to piece it all together. Like I say, you've got to do your homework with the MCU now. Uh, God bless YouTube. God bless all the YouTubers that are uh, Odin blessed. All of the YouTubers that are doing the work and help put all the connections together. People that are far smarter than me with the Marvel stuff. I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, keeping us all informed as to who these people are that are live and that was from the comics and stuff like that. So awesome work. Thank you, everyone. The next series is What If. Uh, I guess it ties in very beautifully with the end of Loki, you know. Now, I'm sure the Watcher is watching the timeline split and that's why we can get the What If. Uh, I'm not too excited about What If, to be honest. Uh, it kind of feels fillery to me. Um, but maybe now that we've had Loki, some of that stuff will actually have some real relevance going forwards. And with the multiverse open, maybe some of these can transition into live action. You know, we can get a What If Avengers kind of a thing going on. Uh, I'd really like uh, Captain Britain to come over. That's the episode I'm probably most excited to see. Uh, just because I want that Captain Britain representation, you know. 
Um, so yeah, Loki as a series was awesome. A um, little bit kind of dipped in the middle, I would say, but overall fantastic. The first episode, uh, I just think is a real joy to watch. I love the twists. I love the craziness. I love the potential of it. I love the classic Loki. I really hope we get to see him again. The multiverse of madness gives possibilities of that. I thought he was a great character. Of course, Alligator Loki as well. Uh, the development of Loki as a character was really interesting and really cool. And uh, yeah, I thought this was the best Disney Plus series so far. Uh, I think the next kind of main live action one is Hawkeye, which is going to be a lot more grounded. Probably going a lot more into the Dark Avengers stuff. Uh, so it's going to be really different uh, compared to what we just saw. Like uh, The MCU feels like it's on two paths at the moment. You've got like New Avengers, Dark Avengers, Earth Grounded. And then you've got this cosmic massive multiverse thing going on and uh for right now i'm more excited for the cosmic crazy multiverse stuff than i am the dark avengers uh new young team kind of thing but i'm sure at some point both will connect again like they did in infinity war uh, infinity war version 2 secret wars bring that on thanks for watching everyone let me know in the comments down below Bye bye